We're here at the University of Liverpool in the laboratories which are part of the Pandemic Institute. So this is the Containment Level 2 laboratory and we're working here on developing diagnostic tests and vaccines and treatments for some of the viruses which are not the most severe viruses, which is why we can work in them in this rather more open facility. The Pandemic Institute was established towards the end of 2021 to tackle emerging infections and future pandemic threats. It builds on Liverpool's fantastic response during the COVID-19 pandemic, which itself builds on decades of research here on emerging infections. So what we're working on here is a Zika vaccine. You may remember Zika was this terrible virus that caused women to have babies with, with tiny shrunken heads. And here in Liverpool, we're developing a, a completely new vaccine against this condition. Our aim is to never again be caught unprepared for an emerging infection. And the way we're doing this is through looking at what viruses are out there and might be the next one to jump across from animals to humans. And we're also working on diagnostic tests and drug treatments and vaccines so that we will have them ready within 100 days of a new disease emergence. These are the containment level three laboratories, which are, are the most secure laboratories we have and there's a double door lock. Uh, all the air flows in, so nothing can escape out through the doors, flows in through the hood here, and then air flows from the hood up through the HEPA filter. And in addition, anything that leaves this room goes through the autoclave uh, and is sterilized in that way. In here, we work with live viruses. In the other laboratories, we're working with inactivated virus and the way it's inactivated is either through heat or through ultraviolet radiation or with chemicals. But you can still do a lot of useful things, either looking at inactivated virus or indeed just individual parts of the virus. It's very hard to predict what the next pandemic will be. We were caught out with this last one. We'd all been thinking because of the 1918 influenza pandemic that the next pandemic would be a big influenza pandemic, but it turned out to be a coronavirus. So although it's very hard to predict, we can see what might happen and it's likely that it will be one of the families of viruses which have caused problems in recent years. This includes coronaviruses, it includes influenza viruses, but it also includes viruses like the mosquito-borne viruses such as dengue and Japanese encephalitis which have been growing as a problem in recent years. I think you can prepare for emerging infection problems and potentially a future pandemic. We're doing that at the moment in getting some of the drugs and vaccines and diagnostic tests up to a stage of readiness. But I think also part of it is the civil response, the society response. And I think one of the problems with the COVID-19 pandemic is people just couldn't believe that it was happening. And so when we had to think about things like the social distancing measures, even the lockdowns, even though we could see it happening in China, we could see it happening in Italy, in, even in this country it was hard for people to believe that similar measures were going to be needed and of course they were needed. In some ways the name the Pandemic Institute is a bit of a misnomer because if we wait for the next pandemic we will already have failed in our mission so our aim is to tackle these emerging infections as they arise.